hey guys welcome back welcome back so today i'm gonna be doing some donuts and for this recipe i'm gonna be using milk here i have a cup and a half of milk i may not use all i have my vanilla essence my sugar nutmeg my yeast now make sure you have the right yeast now for this i'm using the fast rising you can use the active dry yeast if you would like to but I just find this one works better for me. Now you do not have to proof it because it is fast rising, but I still do it anyway. And then here I have my salt. Here I have the buttered flavor shortening and I have butter, unsalted butter. And two eggs at room temperature. And here I have my flour. So let's get right into the recipe. Now this is the shortening I'm talking about and it's the butter flavor. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Now, this, sometimes they have it by the one sticks, or this one is a three stick pack. So you can just grab any, whichever one you would like. And I just also just put my butter and my shortening in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds to melt. And we're gonna go right into the recipe. I'm also gonna allow it to cool. So I'm starting by sifting my flour. So now we're going to start with proofing our yeast. So I'm going in with some of my sugar, just about a tablespoon. My pack of yeast I'll be adding in. Followed by my butter. And we're just going to mix this and allow it to proof. And we'll be right back. Hi. Yeast has proofed in here. And I'm going to just be adding the dry ingredients. I'm going to start with the salt, the nutmeg, and the sugar. I'm just going to mix it all together. I'm going to make something like a well in the middle. And I'm going to put my eggs and my essence. And then I'm going to start going in with my yeast mixture. And to the side, I also have just about two tablespoons of flour that I'm going to be using to help my dough come together like I want it to. Now, if you have a stand mixer, you can use that as well. And I realize a lot of people don't have a stand mixer. So I'm not going to send people out there to buy gadgets and all this when we can't just mix this with our hand. So it's going to be sticky. But I'm going to go in lightly with a little bit of flour and then roll the dough onto our surface. So I'm just going to lightly dust it with the flour, lightly. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come together a lot better now. I'm gonna take it from here and place it on my mat with some more flour. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be working that dough from here. Just a little bit more on the top. Now don't overwork the dough now. I'm going in very light with the hand. I'm pressing it down. That way I'm not using my this area of my hand to press into it. I'm not using this area. I'm just gathering it and press. So I'm just going to lightly oil the bowl that it was in previously. 
slightly oiled it. So my dough is nicely formed, as you guys can see. Lift from the bottom. And I'm just gonna place it in here. Okay. Lightly oil the top. That way it does not stick to whatever you use to cover it. And the dough won't dry out either. Okay. Now I'm gonna cover this up with plastic wrap and I'm gonna allow it to rise for a minimum of one hour because I needed to double its size. So I lightly dusted my surface. This is my dough. So I'm going to go in just a little bit of flour on the top. And I'm going to keep this on the side if I need it. So we're going to be using what we have. I have this that I'm going to be using and the top of one of my bottles, which I washed. And we're going to be using it to cut out the donut. Okay guys, so these are my donuts. I am going to cover them up for at least half an hour to one hour because they have to rise again. And then we're gonna start frying. Okay, so the oil is hot. Gotta be very careful. You don't wanna change the shape. Okay. Time to remove.
So here I have my powdered sugar and it is sifted because we don't want no lumps. Right, and here I have my shortening. I'm using the butter flavor one and some milk. I'm also gonna be using some essence. So we're gonna go in with the butter. Followed by my milk. We'll get my essence. Now you can add food coloring at this point if you would like to. So the glaze is done. And now I'm going to be taking the donuts. Dip. And let it drip. And then we're going to place it right back on the rack. Dip. Let it drip. And right back on the rack. Now you can do it both ways if you would like to. 